I am Sven Droogmans, CEO from Limeparts Droogmans, in which we do wall cladding in its total uh, package, which means aluminum, trespass, uh, glass, and other kinds of materials which are quite in the high end range of the wall claddings. So uh, we try to uh, be one of the more innovative players and uh, team players in this business. The purpose of this project was to make the, the idea of the architect doable and also to the standards of Trespa. The biggest challenge was to have everything exactly on a millimeter like we wanted it in the drawings and that we had the flow which the architect had in mind uh, to appear on the facade. We integrated that as correctly as possible. I think more than 30 years back, we already started using Trespa as one of the first uh, appliers uh, in Belgium with invisible fixing, invisible mechanical fixing. Um, so we are, let's say, really knowing uh, what Trespa has to offer and uh, uh, what you can do uh, with Trespa as well as uh, with the aesthetics from the decors. Why do we like working with, uh, with Trespa panels? Uh, because we know it's an, it's an A product, yeah? which is quite important in this uh, big range in the market. Uh, we like uh, to be sure that we don't have to look our back, which is quite important for us because we have high standard clients and we have to work with high standard products. And uh, we have to make sure that you have a partner alongside you uh, to make sure that you have this quality uh, in the product. And as we are a, a wall clutter, we are mainly focused on details, uh, technical points, and integrating the uh, structures uh, on a building. Uh, so we have to be sure that the, the product which we use is, uh, is, is a good quality standard and which assures us that the building is done with the proper material. How did uh, Lumen or Trespa uh, big size panels uh, help us in this project was we can uh, optimize uh, in our programs uh, the amount of loss we have in, 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 in a project. Uh, if you can reduce the loss in a, in a project, the price will be more or less and which is more doable for a client to, to use uh, a nicer uh, look and feel on his building uh, and it helps us with his dimensions um, to, to, to minimize the costs and the losses. Uh, a little word about the system behind is that uh, we were confronted with an idea and a detail from the architect uh, which was at that point uh, quite detailed but still had some modifications to be done. Uh, viewing to the standards of Trespa. And that is why we uh, introduced a mock-up to the client, which is, which is uh, the, the owner of the Nemo, Nemo building and uh, the architect. So everybody had a look and feel how things were gonna work. Uh, so we had the aesthetic point of view, which we controlled, and uh, most important, uh, the technical point of view, uh, which had to be uh, approved by Trespa itself. And uh, <clears throat> that was a nice cooperation between all the stakeholders. As a company, we can say we're really proud that we were a little piece in this, uh, in this big building or in this nice project. Um, we are really satisfied with the, with the, with the, with the result. The first point uh, and uh, the critics in our company was, what's it gonna look like? What's it gonna be like? And I've seen the building already several times, and I must say it changes every time again. You have a little bit more sun, a little bit less cloudy, and the building is changing in the morning, through the noon, through the evening. So that's quite uh, a nice thing to see. When an architect wakes up in the morning and has a crazy idea like Eric had on this building, and he should be supported on a technical way, we try to respect uh, we say what we're gonna do, and we try to do what we said. So I think that's really important uh, uh, for architects and for the uh, owner of the building to have a good, nice look and feel and a good quality uh, wall cladding.